Ooh. Hello, internets. Welcome back to the terribly oppressive atmosphere of Penumbra. Ah, what do we have to do again? It's only been a day since I've last played this, but I somehow cannot remember. As to why I'm using vaguely Eastern European accents at the moment, I don't know. By the way, making coffee in the background, so th that is that sound. I'm starting to think I should go back in here, because I don't believe I picked up any fuel. And as I understand, I'm going to need... Ooh, a bit of mouse lag, it feels like. So I understand I'm going to need that before I can actually continue with the game. That's right, I've looked in there and I cannot go there. Ah oh man, where's that nice, peaceful music that I was playing here when I first got in this area? Why must it be replaced with this terrifying music of terrifyingness? Blocked, but he just can't really go there. Hell, you. I don't know, they must have rendered this model wrong. Like, got the wrong flags or something. Because you can clearly see up there. It's affected by light, but you can't stand up. <laughs> yeah. This control room must have seen a lot of use back when the mine was operational, but it looks pretty des uh, desolate now. Hey. Sorry, a little tea there. That's a save point. We just saved there last night. I suppose I can trust these things a bit more. I'm not dead yet. Still, they must have a purpose. What could it be? Saving the game, of course. <laughs> hmm. The paint's peeling on this old locker. I think they spelled peeling wrong there. It's bound to be rusted shut. You mean the locker I just opened? Yeah. Ah, this one's open as well. Seems to be a book with a creaky cover. Six pages. Don't know what that said over there, but okay. <sighs> I, I really wish the game didn't stretch these things like this in widescreen. I'll read that in a second. Let's see, the thing is, the uh, 3D... actual 3D environment here that you're seeing, this is all rendered hor plus horizontal plus widescreen so the game does actually support it it's just all the two dimensional objects were for some reason rendered uh, stretching for widescreen Inuit mythology Christian Forsyth first published 1903 over the past hundred years our people have seen s something of a religious revelation the Kalalits and Inuits in general might be said to have seen the error of our ways, and Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore the true roots of our long-held beliefs, and to uncover how they might be justified today in our new found enlightenment. As such, this essay will be the first I have written in English, as opposed to our native Kalalik. 
Is that an M or an R and an N? Okay, I can see possibly a pixel split right there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go with a near neat. It is no coincidence that the word a near knock bears a resemblance to the English word angel. The a near neat are the Inuit equivalents of the soul, an undying entity released in the death of this worldly body. The concept itself is obviously well grounded in decent Christian belief. However. Previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all things, man or beast. To claim such a thing would be to imply that the killing of a beast for food is the same as the manner of your fellow man, and such a belief simply cannot be held the civilized Inuit. Questionable English. Turngate. Legends speak of disembodied spirits, malicious in nature. Sabotaging tools, turning hunts bad, and at times even possessing the weak or unfortunate. A Tungak appears to have no recognized or agreed origin, both in terms of the legend itself and the inv individual being, causing great doubt to be entirely justifiable. Can we, in our Christian foresight, really believe in possessions and evil spirits? It seems perfectly clear to this writer that the real origin of the Dungaint belief lies in the Christian demon. For as we are taught by the generous and selfless Moravian church, without those, without whose support, our people would no doubt have starved many years ago. The demon is capable of possession and of countless other atrocities, which only a good Christian man can avoid through a lifetime of humility and devotion. Angerquid. With the conclusions reached above, the status of the cherished Angerquid, the tribe shaman, should be obvious. Such people are in league with the Tungate demons, working side by side to control and contain the Kaladilid people. We have no need for such superstition, and the superstition breeding people in our Christian ways. The Protestant priests can perform all of the Angerquid duties, and more beside. God. The final challenge of a work such as this should be to find the nature of the Christian God and to ask why he has not been present for so many years of Inuit belief. Until recently, the Inuit people wrongly attributed to a near near almost godlike status in certain cases and treated to the Dungate as the devil incarnate. It is no major leap of faith to suggest that such beliefs have been underpinned by a general concern that there has been something missing in the Inuit life, that something is indubitably good. I just hope that my feelings have informed and enlightened the atheistic few that remain in Inuit culture, and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to redeem their souls. Peter Henry Natur. I will admit I don't know precisely what accent I was trying to pull here. It just seemed to make jump from something strange I don't know to Vaguely Eastern European to vaguely pseudo Russian. But enough of this. After that generator, getting this crane going should be too tricky. Ugh. Hmm. Ah, so what precisely is it I need to do? Why do we keep going with the accent? Ah. Seems to be something. Ah, oh, this is the crane, isn't it? No reason why this mechanical arm shouldn't still be working. So what precisely do I need to be doing here? Something with the crane, I imagine, of course. Man, there just seems to be a whole lot of mouse light in this recording session. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that I had to alt-tab out of the program right after turning it on. Because, uh, I forgot to change my, uh, microphone audio levels before starting the game up. And it didn't feel like exiting. Hmm. 
Hey, what was that sound? Okay, what does this do? Hmm, back and forth, eh? So this one seems to be up and down. This must be left and right, then. Ooh. Precisely. That creepy music, go away. Is this not going? Or am I putting it, pushing it the wrong way? There we go. Ah, that turns it around like this. S trying to smash this door. My ear is ringing at the moment. I'm not sure if it's part of the game audio or if it's just something that's just happening. Wait a minute. Ah, okay, I see it now. Get out of here. I see it now. Turns out glow stick is not the greatest of uh, whoop, light sources. Okay, let's... Oh, that extends. Okay, now I can properly see all this. Let's raise it up a bit. Pull it back this way a little. And all the physics seem to be running real choppy right now. You know, maybe I should... Yes, yes, this is how I should handle this. as far as it goes. Okay. So presumably I need to build myself a way to climb up there. Okay, can I... I guess I can't pull it. Can I push? Yes. This needs to go that way a little. Doesn't go out any further. Drop it down a little. Okay. Aha! This must house the interior ventilation system. I've read about five times already. Oh. You know? Okay, that's apparently not dark enough. This is. You know, for some reason, everything in this game just seems to look more normal when it does this. You know. Oop. Okay, rendering a bug. Yeah, more normal when it seems to stretch the screen vertical or horizontally. That is not where I need to go, presumably. Oh, how I wish you could just click the mouse and make it attack. That would make things so much easier. Ah, other side of the steam. Gasoline! A can of gas. I feel certain that this key and gasoline tank is what Red was, was what Red was referring to. Be careful. Hmm. I wonder if you can actually block that. Oh. 
for some reason I'm thinking that there's an ability to... Steam can push that. Okay. Ability to rotate things you have in your hand. But maybe I'm just thinking of the partial playthroughs of Amnesia that I've seen. Well, partial because I haven't finished watching them. But I suppose at this point I might as well finish watching them. It's, well, of course, at some point. Oh. So I've already spoiled most of the game for myself. And thus kind of ruining it for my own playthrough. I just heard a door open. Prepare my weapon that I am terribly horrible at attacking with. So that I can't go through there. Because Philip cannot crouch jump. Put the weapon away. So really, what's the deal with the opening door? Stay closed. This goes... I thought I picked up batteries. That should be a little higher than that. Hmm. Can't, open, can't use that on the door. Hmm. I wonder. Can I use that on normal doors? No, I can't. Burn the door. <sighs> Let's put this away. I believe this goes back into the hub like area. Oh. Yes, back where we started this session. About 20 minutes ago. 18 more precise. That's right, you don't have a map in this game. Oh dear. Okay, yep, I can see it over there. You can't just need to get past this. Get back to where I first entered this particular area. And, uh... Get past that first dog near the beginning. Ooh, walking into walls along the way, obviously. And... Should... Oops. Should not drag that along. Place that down there. From there, I, if I remember right, use the saw on that board blocking the way and get over to the other side. One of these times, something's going to be in one of those crates, and I'm going to regret opening it. There's the dog music again. Okay, here we go. Now we're definitely 
definitely where I was intending to go. Just need to see where the dog is. I hope it does not come back to this area through here. That's a wall. The wall is safe. <sighs> okay, okay. If nothing else, I can use this to hide behind. Bump my head into as I lean around the corner. Okay. Actually, thinking of over here. Where was I? 